Is being shy something kids can learn to get over? Psychologists at Harvard University and Massachusetts General Hospital studied shyness from early childhood to early adulthood. Inhibited children were characterized by an aversion to novelty, uh, aversion to strangers, not liking things that were new, whereas uninhibited children were children who sort of plunged in freely. The researchers studied a group of toddlers through their teens and into their 20s. While using a scanning technique to measure their brain activity as adults, the researchers repeatedly showed the participants a set of faces so they would become familiar with them. Then they showed them either the same faces or new ones. Those who were shy as babies showed unusually high activity when they saw the new faces in a part of the brain called the amygdala that regulates emotion and basic instincts. And we found to our amazement that we could still see this footprint of this very early temperamental difference after more than 21 years of development. Suggesting that brain wiring for certain traits like shyness may remain the same from infancy to adulthood. But Schwartz says parents don't have to worry if their kids are just quiet or shy. If there were no people who were inhibited, then there probably would be a lot less scientists in the world, people who kind of look inward in, to some extent. But he recommends help for extreme cases, like kids with social anxiety disorders, because even if shyness may be etched in their brains, it need not be their destiny. I'm Karen Lurie.